Good to go. Okay, so welcome to the design first, potential difference, uh, technology demonstration, June 29th, uh, 2021. Uh, basically, in this demonstration, we're going to be introducing, uh, reintroducing the Regenx uh, generator to design first and introducing the Regenx quantum motor. Uh, we're going to be introducing the Regenx generator's load current delay, which reverses uh, generator armature reaction, otherwise known as electric vehicle regenerative braking, and introduces uh, electric vehicle regenerative acceleration. And, um, and we're going to be introducing the, uh, the latest IP, the Regenx quantum motor, and so the best place to start is uh, generator armature reaction. So come on down and we'll introduce you to generator armature reaction. So um, Matt, what I want you to do, you I don't know if we did this the last time. There is. Okay, so um, Electric vehicle regenerative braking um, is, a, a, the, the actual term is generator armature reaction, okay? It's uh, a negative motor action in a generator. It's a counter electromagnetic torque that's produced inside the generator when current flows in the, the, the current bearing wires that make up the coils. And, um, Generator armature reaction produces a counter torque which resists the rotation of the generator. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to turn this generator in the clockwise direction. Okay, so you're going to be the prime mover. Okay, all I want you to do is just keep turning it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is uh, connect this lead to this. I'm going to short out the generator and you're going to experience generator armature reaction okay so away you go and once i connect it i want you to keep it going okay <laughs> sure okay that's pretty significant Very close. so now uh now what i want you to do is do the same thing with this one turn it this way that's a short circuit and here we have a load, a light bulb. So do the same thing here. This is obviously a smaller generator. So just get it going, okay? I want you to be able to see how much current you're able to keep going. So point, point two, point six. So what's happening when current is flowing in the windings, a magnetic field is produced around the generator coils, and that magnetic field is um, it's working against the, the rotation of the main field in the generator. Okay, so in in a short circuit, you have the maximum current, and you have the maximum res uh, resistance. I I don't like to use the term resistance because it's not resistance. It's negative motor action. It's the magnetic fields are performing work on the, on the rotating rotor, uh, reducing its kinetic energy, okay? And so here, we have the direction that you were turning it, okay? This is the direction of the counter electromagnetic torque that's produced inside the generator. The Regenx quantum motor produces a torque in the same direction as the prime mover, okay? And the Regenx quantum motor is, it's the exact opposite of what you experienced here in that the more current that's flowing in the windings, the more uh, complementary torque the, the generator will, or the motor will produce, okay? And the same thing applies with the Regenx generator. So 
Imagine this is the quantum motor and this is the generator. Okay, you're going to see that in a second. So, um, uh, again, the conventional generator, if you're turning this in this direction, the conventional generator produces a counter torque, and the regenx generator produces a complementary torque. Okay, and um, I'm going to show you the regenx quantum motor and regenx generator, the sort of the latest version. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to show you the load current delay. Because it's the load current delay that allows the regenx generator to do what it does. Without that, it's just a normal generator model. Okay? So I'll get you to come around here. Okay, so you can uh, stop that there and then 